there are some iPhone users are wondering why is my iPhone silent button not working. Actually, the main reason is the iOS system bugs. If your iPhone is still covered by a warranty, you'd better to get a replacement. Otherwise you can try below methods to fix it. Solution 1. Check and clean the switch. The switch button itself should be the first thing you check. Clean it regularly to prevent dirt or dust from causing it not to work. Solution 2. Keep pushing the silent switch. There are iPhone users reported that after repeatedly pushing their ring silent buttons back and forth 4 to 5 times, it began to work normally. Solution 3. Turn on assistive touch. Turn on assistive touch. It's a common way to solve this mute button issue. Here are the steps. Go to the settings. Select accessibility. Turn on the assistive touch option, and back to the home screen. A wide circle should appear on the screen. Tap on the circle and select device. Now you have the option of either mute or unmute. After this step, you can turn off the assistive touch if you need. Solution 4. Turn the ringer volume down. Adjusting the volume manually to its lowest point and then higher it. Check if iPhone's silent button come back to the normal. Solution 5. Set up a silent ringtone. Go to settings, choose sounds and haptics, and choose ringtones. Then go to the tone store, look for a silent ringtone, and set it as a default ringtone on your phone. Solution 6. Force restart iPhone. Quick press the volume up button, then quick press the volume down button. Then hold the power button around 10 seconds until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Solution 7. Enable text tone to none. The test tone can be set to none if you are only interested in making some specific notifications disappear, such as messages and emails. Solution 8. Fix it with Joy Osher Alt Fix iOS System Recovery. It is a professional iOS repair tool can fix more than 150 iPhone issues, not only iPhone, but also iPad, iPod Touch. Firstly, install and launch JoyoShare Alt Fix on the computer. Plug your iPhone to the computer. After that, press the Start button to proceed. You are now in the Mode Selection window. It is enough to select the Standard Mode, which will not cause any data loss. Then press the Next button. In this menu, there is a guideline how to put iPhone into DFU or Recovery Mode, and we need to put iPhone into DFU or Recovery Mode. Some of the info about your iPhone will be displayed on the screen. Make sure all the info is correct and change the wrong parts, then press the Download button to download the matching firmware package. Lastly, click the Repair button. The downloaded firmware package will be unzipped, and the program will start to fix your iPhone issue. A few minutes later, the repairing process will finish, and your iPhone will come back to the normal.